Hi, this is Nisha and welcome to this English course on adjectives. In today's video, I am going to tell you everything about adjectives, actually what they are exactly. Because lots of students are still confused that what is the meaning of adjectives and what kinds of adjectives are there. So let's get started with the examples so that I can teach you about the adjectives. So students first thing that you have to keep in your mind that adjectives are only describing words. They can describe the quality of a person, place, animal, number or uh, you know any kind of animal or thing are called adjectives. So the main thing is only to add to the meanings uh, not only to a noun but uh, to pronoun as well. So in a simple words if I just have to say that adjectives are the words which add to the meaning of a noun or pronouns. So what the examples we can just share uh, with you. So here are examples for you. For example, I have to say that smart boy, green parrot, one hand and two dogs, big hall, round ball. So as you are seeing in my examples that the word used to describe, these are only to show the quality, color, size, shape and number. Right. So these are the words that try to describe how someone or something looks, tastes, feels, smells or sounds like right so these are the examples that we can uh, show to somebody whenever we try to make a sentences with the help of the adjectives so the now first of all uh, today in this uh, video i'm going to explain you the eight kinds of adjectives first of all so you can just see here one by one with examples i'll just tell you that how and where we can use these kinds of adjectives so as you are seeing here that the first adjective that we are seeing here that the qualitative adjectives and the word qualitative that just uh, uh, telling us that it is only to provide us information that we should have a make a uh, sentences that can be uh, with the uh, express the quality that can express the quality of something right so what kind of qualities we can just uh, talk here like mount everest is the highest peak in the himalayas today we shall have a pleasant weather polite people win hearts so as uh, in a box you can see there there are some points that you have to keep in your mind so the first point is qualitative adjectives have a three different forms called degrees of comparison i hope so that already some of the students know that what is the meaning of positive comparative and superlative degree so these are the degrees of comparison that we mainly use so for the positive i want to explain you that when we use a positive so it means that no comparison with any person or thing Examples are small, thin, safe, etc. But on the other hand, it will say that the comparative degree. So comparative meaning is very clear that it starts with the comparative. So means to say in that we, uh, we can just say that comparison between two persons or things. So we try to compare something here like smaller, thinner, safer, etc. The next and the last one is superlative. So the comparison among more than two people or things, then we can say that it's a superlative like smallest, thinnest, safest, etc. So students, these were the examples of uh, qualitative adjectives. And this is the main thing that satisfy the question what kind sort of like what kind of people uh, mostly you like so i'll say that polite people right so this satisfied the question what kind sort and type of so next is quantitative adjectives so quantitative adjectives are the words which indicate the quantities of noun and how much quantity you need so how much the word how much means to say it's so very clear that satisfy the question how much we can say that it's a quantitative adjectives for example here you can see that my family requires 5 kg of sugar every month some oil was spilled on the floor a fistful of grain cannot feed thousand rightly said by somebody that a fistful of grain cannot feed thousand 
so here are also uh, some points that you have to keep in your mind while just making such kinds of adjectives like quantitative adjectives answer the questions what quantity of in what quantity or how much as i earlier explained you that let satisfy the question how much how much your family need a sugar my family requires 5 kg sugar a month right so this is just only example the next is possessive adjectives so what do you mean by the possessive adjectives actually possessive adjectives are the words which show possessions by the nouns that follow them for example we have to say my aim is to become a doctor peter is her good friend they didn't mind their business well so it's all about the possessive adjectives and we can say that my her its his and there in the above examples indicate the sense of positions or belonging of the nouns right so hence they are possessive adjectives the next thing about here is demonstrative adjectives so what do you mean by the demonstrative adjective so here uh, the main thing is about the word that add to the meaning of nouns by indicating pointing that i want to point something like uh, this is your bed this is your table you have to sit here because i'm trying to indicate i try to point to something right so pointing to them are called demonstrative adjectives examples are here for you this bike doesn't belong to me now i'm just talking about the particular bike that this bike doesn't belong to me these stories about ghosts cannot be true now i'm talking about the particular story that these stories uh, about ghosts cannot be true the next is such an idea cannot be appreciated so you can see here the remember point that you have to keep in your mind that demonstrative adjective satisfy the question which which idea do you don't like or which idea you don't like so we can say uh, such an idea i don't like i can't appreciate it such of ideas right so these are uh, you know try to satisfy the question which so uh, move on to next uh, our uh, adjective that is interrogative adjectives as it's very clear by its name that uh, whenever the question starts with the wh family and the mainly we have to express our certain feelings right uh, to in front of others and uh, it can be for the asking a question then we can use these kinds of adjectives for example we have to say oh, what's your name uh, right so what profession are you in whose car did you drive yesterday so at last we have to write their question mark right so these are called the interrogative adjectives in which we can ask questions from somebody the next is exclamatory adjectives so here we can see that this is just a sudden expressions of us when we uh, you know see something it's a just a express exclamation it is called the exclamatory adjectives so if we have to say yeah what a movie what a song what a plan you make i really become a fan of yours as you are making a different kinds of plans so he was very uh, you know totally uh, attracted by his uh, plan so he is saying that what a plan what a song and what a movie these are sudden expression of somebody that we can say that it's exclamatory adjectives the next is proper adjectives so as you already have learned about the proper noun so it's a very clear for you that how we can use a proper noun as a proper adjectives now as we are using a proper thing uh, so we can say that these are the proper adjectives like for example here uh, shakespeare wrote many places about kings and queens so it's all about the proper noun and shakespeare next is hong ling is a chinese student here we are talking about the chinese and the third is romigan is an indian name so here again the india or indian that is a proper adjective the next one is and the last is distributive adjectives so distributive adjectives are normally used with the singular nouns they include each every either and neither and are used to refer to members of a group or individuals so how we can make such kinds of uh, examples so that we can make different kinds of sentences 
so for this i just have uh, given you an example so you can see here that each member was given an award every student must obey the rules either you buy it or you don't so these were the examples of distributive adjectives and if you want to make a different kinds of adjectives by using your distributive adjectives proper adjective exclamatory adjectives then you can make because if you will uh, make different kinds of adjective sentences then you will be able to know that what is the exact meaning of adjectives so i hope so that you will like this video and thank you for watching and see you